Sunshine, the sound of the sea and the carnival party. The Caribbean is home to many styles or genres of music, but just how did these styles develop and how did they become popular in the UK? The music of the Caribbean was created by the meeting of different people and cultures and their traditions. The Caribbean is a region of the Americas where you find the Caribbean islands. People from Europe arrived in the Caribbean through colonialism. Different countries claimed rulership of the islands to gain new territories and develop their wealth. The Caribbean was first colonised by Spain in the 1400s. The English, French and Dutch soon followed. They took with them instruments like the violin and European music and melodies, dance tunes and folk rhythms. Colonialists developed large farming areas called plantations where they grew crops, most notably sugarcane. Workers were needed to maintain and harvest the crops. This gave rise to the transatlantic slave trade, the capturing, selling and buying of enslaved people. People were forced to move from Africa to the Caribbean from the 1500s to the 1800s. They brought their own traditions of African folklore, music and rhythms to the Caribbean. People from Ireland, India and China were also forced to come and work in the Caribbean as indentured labour. On two specific islands, European music and instruments and African music and instruments evolved together to become the folk genre Mento and Calypso. The style or genre of music called Mento developed on the island of Jamaica in the 1800s. Western instruments such as the violin combined with African instruments, which included the rumba box. Mento music became popular in the mainstream culture in the UK and America in the 1940s and 1950s. Mento is the originator of other popular genres, including ska, rocksteady and most famously reggae. Here's a video of Mento fiddle player Theodore Miller performing Nobody's Business. Whilst Mento music came specifically from the island of Jamaica, on the islands of Trinidad and Tobago, another genre emerged. The genre of Calypso from Trinidad and Tobago has been around since the 1600s, but developed most notably in the 1800s. The origins of Calypso can be traced back to West African queso music and the Caribbean harvest festival called Cambule. Calypso is the origin of the genre soca, which has been popular since the 1970s. Here's an early Calypso recording made in 1914 by Julian Whiterose. Calypso instruments include the shak shak type of maraca, the guitar and steel pans. In 1880, African percussion was banned in Trinidad and Tobago. Instead, people started to beat bamboo sticks together before this was banned as well. In 1937, the bamboo sticks reappeared in an area called Laventille. They were being used to beat frying pans, dustbin lids and oil drums. The steel pan orchestra was born. Here is the first ever recording of steel pans. Lion, lion, oh, there go me lion, lion, oh, I went 
Tana Puna, Lion O, I went Sandy Grandi, Lion O, I went Freeport Junction, Lion O, I went up at Cora, Lion O. One of the most famous Calypsonian musicians was Lord Kitchener, who arrived in the UK in 1948 on a ship called the MV Empire Windrush. After World War II, Britain was suffering labour shortages and needed more workers. The British government invited people from the Caribbean to live and work in the UK. On the 22nd of June 1948, the first ship of Caribbean people answering this call arrived at Tilbury Docks in Essex. The ship was called the MV Empire Windrush. People who migrated from the Caribbean to the UK between 1948 and 1971 are often referred to as the Windrush Generation. The Windrush Generation brought Caribbean music and culture to the UK. Travel of people between the Caribbean islands and the UK became more regular and with developments in recorded music and exchange, mixing and evolution of style and sounds began. <laughs> 